Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to ICBM. Today I have joined a random multiplayer game as the game is officially out right now. I'm playing on the Four Corners map, which means that the game is not just for me in the US or North America, I also get a good chunk of Europe. This is going to be an interesting fight, because there will be a lot more to defend, a lot more different vectors from where I can get attacked, um, and well, it's multiplayer. It's not like you can just push over some bots. Since I have such a large span of terrain, I have opted to go with an airbase or two, radar sites, SAM sites, a carrier, and SAM and ABM. So let's see if I can keep all of this territory safe. It's not going to be easy. As for a tactic, um, I'm not really too sure yet. I might go with aircraft carriers, because I have such a large area to... But I think just upgrading air and at least using bombers early up be handy. Also, aircraft can come in very useful, can switch territory to cover. And that means no air bases, no air base, no uh, coastal. It's just the standard game. This is a lot to cover. Um, I am with Don Stalin over here. Uh, we got Hayerko over there. And Equilix down here. This is so confusing. It says red. But <laughs> why is he yellow then? Right. Okay, my largest cities. Um, London. Do I have Mexico City? No, I don't. They have that. Okay, uh, New York, critical. I think I have no massive cities, which is actually helpful. I don't have Berlin. Okay, this is critical, London. The African cities really don't contribute that much. Rome seems to be just on the inside of my border. Huh. Okay, let's get some research going. Uh, advanced aircraft first. Advanced aircraft, aerial refueling, AWACS, stuff like that. As for my assets, I'll place my air base relatively close to London and allow an air patrol. I want to see what the guys are up to here. There we are. Uh, I immediately want to blind them. I don't want that radar site to exist. Now, the next question is, where do I strike? If I want to strike early on. I can. I have one megaton bomb and one nuke. So I could strike. But it is risky. Or I could try an ally with this guy. Let's see if he's interested in working together. Yes. Alliance formed. Okay, that's good. Um That way I know I don't have to worry about the guys down here that much. That saves me a lot of terrain. Okay, I, uh, I was able to successfully wipe out that radar site. Alliance formed. Aha, uh -huh. okay, and that means that these two guys are working together as well. Oh, he started with advanced aircraft. From an attack bomber. Oh, sorry, from a... Uh, that's an attack bomber. So... What he has over there is an aircraft carrier. With advanced aircraft, that's what he started with. Right. This is going to be interesting. Where do I deploy my carrier? Mediterranean, maybe. It's a bit risky, especially as it has no escorts. I could be a real dick and just go for an immediate nuclear strike. I only have the one, one megaton bomb. What's the largest production center that they have? Is it Moscow? 419, 468 Istanbul. Um, Beijing, 14.9. Ah, 21.5 Tokyo. I don't think I can reach that far though. No, Production I can't. complete. Okay. All right, let's have a look at what they have going on over here. No aircraft carrier has been spotted yet. Let's see if I can change that. Let's get some submarines going. I want some more radar sites and some more SAM sites. Just to see what they have and where. 
Once the advanced aircraft are done, at some point I'll also look into getting over the horizon radar to get those SAM sites to be more effective. Because right now they don't really do that much if they were ballistic missiles. But then again, I don't expect them to come in this early. Famous last words. Let's see if I can push the game speed up a bit higher. This is going to sort of drag the others into times two speed. Because there currently isn't really that much going on. I know that the attack aircraft came in from somewhere over here. So I think that the aircraft carrier is here-ish. Otherwise, I would have spotted it with that radar sight. The alternative option is that it's over there. Which would be annoying, but possible. Now, these things have a very limited radar, these fighters. They only have a 250 range shortwave radar. Um... I need AWACS capabilities. I need the ability to see what's going on. So I'm going to cancel out this one. I don't want aerial refueling just yet. I want AWACS aircraft. That's more of a priority. Oh, you need refueling. Oh, never mind then. Okay, we're now on two times speed. Submarine ready. Good. Let's have a look, shall we? Hello. Ooh, he went for cruise missiles. And it's a fast sub at that. Engage. Ah, there's your carrier. Okay, gotcha. But I lost my sub. If I can get another submarine going, I might be able to take down that aircraft carrier because they don't seem to have a destroyer next to it. I mean, similarly, I don't have a destroyer next to mine. So let's bring mine a little closer. Next submarine ready in 40 seconds. It'd be a great kill if I can get that aircraft carrier out of the way. Carrier takes, what was it, 10 minutes to build? 10 and a half. Right. Hello, buddy. Where's your carrier? Where did that thing go? Not where I last saw it. He probably pulled it back. He might be building additional ships to help with it. Oh shit, I'm getting torpedoed. Nope, there is a destroyer in the way. Structure destroyed. Yeah, they nuked the destroyer, but at least my aircraft carrier wing might be able to deal with that destroyer in time. That's once again Hayerko. Oh, sorry, uh, Hayeriko. That's the one that I'm currently fighting. Let's get a cruiser in the Mediterranean backed up with a destroyer. Oh, I found it. Oh shit, there's a sub. But it's surfaced? Ship sunk. Oh crap, there's more subs. Okay, so he controls the Mediterranean as far as submarines go. That means that I don't need a cruiser, I just need a bunch of destroyers. That one took some serious damage. It doesn't carry SAM sites yet. Or SAM weaponry. Now sending a B-52 to do a job like this is a bit aggressive, but it will work. Submarine over here is taking down that aircraft carrier. There's also a carrier over here. Another one from Hieroko. Or Heriko. Interesting. So that means that he's going heavy on the carriers. And, well, the rest of the Navy too. Yeah, fine, just cancel it. Looks like I sunk that ship. Uh, just patrol this bit, will you? Just make sure there's nothing in there. Alright. Deploying anything over here is very risky. So what I'm going to do is just defend, or at least get some more information over here. And back that up with the SAM site. This will cover a decent amount. Let's just keep the radar coverage on permanently. But still, I would like to deploy a submarine here and get rid of that aircraft carrier. But I find the control of the Mediterranean to be more important early on. We're slowed down by Equilix, resuming in 27 seconds. 
And we got Romita Impera who is looking with us. It's just an observer. All right, diplomacy. Um, no, sorry, espionage. I don't want to spy on my ally for now. I want to see what Hierko is doing or Heriko. I don't know. Why I keep calling him Hierko, but my bad. Um. Put that Sam side closer to New York. Advanced aircraft ready in two and a half minutes. What's the game plan? Um, trying to sink CVs from here. We go. I'm not sure how much I can trust this ally. I don't know the guy. It's just a random to me. Maybe he's very communicative. Maybe he's really going to work with me. Uh, maybe he's going to fuck me over entirely. We'll just see. Structure destroyed. He really did go heavy on the navy, didn't he? Because that's cruise missiles. So in order to counter this one, I'd have to bring two destroyers, if not more. I have advanced aircraft. I have B1Bs. But the chances of me actually dropping that destroyer when it's firing back at me is not great. You know what? We're going to just say hello to Moscow. With a nuke. Let's see if Moscow is paying attention. It's a bit of an aggressive move. There might be a response, but we'll see. Oh. That probably barely scratched him at all. Yeah, GDP is still at 100. Okay, now I can deploy two destroyers here. And... I can counter his missiles. He can't. That's good. He doesn't have ABMs. Or anti-missile defenses of any kind, by the looks of it. There we go. Missile intercepted. Move to here. Otherwise, we will lose this guy. And the next part is going to be trying to find the submarines which are operating here. Damage so far is pretty bad, because he's also in his own race getting constant repairs. So that next destroyer cannot arrive soon enough. Uh, the next phase, I think, is going to be a cruiser. Once aerial refueling is done and AWACS is coming up, I'll also start looking into air-to-surface missiles. New destroyer ready to be deployed in a minute. The damage is just really lackluster here. I'm not getting the kind of damage that I want. Ally, CV. Uh, aircraft carrier is CV. Naval terms. All right, we pissed off that destroyer. Oh, shit. Are those submarines by any chance? Oh, yeah, they are. But they're surfaced submarines, which makes them pretty easy to kill. That's one. And that's two. At the expense of my destroyer, I lost one destroyer, I sank two subs. I'd say that's not a bad trade. That could have been worse. If I'm going to build more megatons, 46 seconds each, and they barely do anything. So for now, it's probably not that worth it. Share radar, uh, sure. I'm not yet willing to share my research with him, but I do want to know what he has. Airbase, airbase, radar, radar. Airbase, aircraft carrier battle group. Radar, radar, radar. Okay. So he's getting information, but there's not that much deployed in Africa. Okay. Now, once that cruiser is built, I feel a little bit more secure over here. The thing is, I'll still need a lot more research to make those things effective. Because early on, they're potent against ships. But they don't have the radar range yet. They don't really have any kind of effectiveness in the sense of dealing with other 
land-based assets because they don't have the range. And that's a problem. I really would like them to have range. Other naval terms. DD is destroyer. Uh, CA is cruiser. SSBN is nuclear is uh, boomer. Um, nuclear boomer. What what would be a good a good description of that? A ballistic missile sub. If I'm going to be communicating with this guy, at least we need to speak the same language. Kinshasa hit. So Equilix, Equilix, Equilix is going on the offensive here. That's probably a relatively minor nuke. And they still have the Production early level complete. aircraft. All right. Welcome cruiser. I need the destroyer to follow the cruiser, not the other way around. And I need to figure out where that destroyer went. Production. Um, I'll take another destroyer. I want to start raining in the middle... Uh, sorry, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean. Because with control of that, I can also start hitting positions around it. I don't have the radar range, though. They're definitely hitting my cruiser and my destroyer. But I can't see what is doing that. So I cannot wait for that AWACS aircraft to come up. So I could really use that. I think it's a submarine that's doing the damage. But it's hard to tell. Oh, it's the destroyer with maximum range. But once you have radar range on him, he has nowhere to go. He's trying to run, but he's not fast enough. Oh! We're just carpet bombing my cruiser now. Oh, look at that! That's the prize, right there. That's what I want to kill. It's currently a little busy, air traffic-wise. So, ideally, I'd strike the airbase. Make sure I get air dominance in the Mediterranean. And then, I don't have to fear for the life of my cruiser and destroyers. Because I'll simply blow this destroyer up. How many fighters did I lose with that little stunt? A few. AWACS ready and next. Better misses. Air service misses. Come on. Search complete. Uh, finally, we have AWACS. Off you go. Hello, radar site. If I can also have a small battle group operating here, I can shut down quite a bit of his territory. So I'm going to go with another cruiser and two destroyers. Aha. Uh -huh. Can we get that SAM site? Maybe we should park it next to Athens. And Stalin has taken a hit. GDP is still 99%. I'm still perfectly fine. That aircraft carrier group's operating in the Pacific. I'm hoping that won't be a threat. So far, not too bad. I was able to win this fight, but I'm not there yet. Once the cruise missiles and the air-to-surface missiles are done, I'll probably start looking into getting bigger bombs. Thermonuclear bombs gives me 10 megaton bombs, which will... Oh, what the hell? Okay. Which will allow me... Shit. I was not expecting them to park an aircraft carrier over there. This is an air fight that I'll not win, because I don't have the numbers. That's pretty clever. What are they packing? Just your standard missiles. Oh, not these things. They also invested in air-to-surface missiles. Okay. If 
if I park it here, I might be able to get a kill on that radar site. At least my control of the Mediterranean just vaporized. Because the cruisers and the destroyers are dead. Oh, sorry, cruiser. I only had the one. Off you go. Next destroyer. 1 minute 15. Let's just patrol this area here. Because then I'm making myself a more difficult target. Especially since they don't really seem to know where I am. Similarly, I don't know where they are because my AWACS got shot down. Let's go another AWACS bird. I'll just replenish all the aircraft really. A city has been bombed. Come again? A city has been bombed. Oh shit. That was an attack plan of some sort. I know it didn't defend my west coast, but this is a bit extreme. That's probably the carrier group. Let's talk to my ally. Enemy battle group in Pacific, west of San Jose. That's what I'm thinking anyway. ASM's ready in 90 seconds. Bigger bombs coming up soon. And who was it that did that? Uh, probably Herico. No data on his technologies. He's the only one I'm spying on, but I have no idea what he's up to. And I don't like that one bit. Anorax is back operational. Research complete. Okay. Next is thermonuclear bombs. Um, I have an airbase here. We can just scout out, see what they have. Okay, sending a fleet. There we go. That's the culprit right there. Equilix. A cruiser, a destroyer, and an aircraft carrier. Do they have SAMs? Yes. Aircraft? Not advanced. Take down the destroyer. Air-to-surface missiles, here we go. I might lose a few. Oh crap, there's another one. You know what, I should just let my ally take care of this one. Shit, the AWAX also went down. Air wings replenished. Okay, good. need? Do I really need control of the Mediterranean? Or do I just want to start blowing up cities in Europe and Russia? Because if I can push Herico down a bit, as far as GDP goes, maybe I can get an advantage. It's going to take me a fair amount of time to get thermonuclear bombs and then to build them even more so. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there's two groups. Didn't realize that. Yeah, they have some pretty advanced Navy units here. Which is something that I can exploit. Don't challenge them on the water. Go for nukes plus uh, destroy GDP. If we can make that happen, we might be able to get some points back. Because their navy is too advanced. I can try to challenge them, but I won't win that. So there's not really any point for me even to try. Air wings replenished. I might as well go for cities and just start blowing up their uh, terrain. I'm destroying stuff on their African coast. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, these cities are not terribly useful. 
when it comes to GDP. That's unfortunate. Production complete. Okay, nice. Uh, production complete. Yes, let's get some more radar sites in. Or actually, a flying radar site, just another air base. Because these things see far more than any radar site. Yes, they're a bit fragile. But they're easier to relocate and quickly get information on whatever I need information on at that particular moment. Once I get 10 megatons, I'll be able to start wiping out some cities. But this carrier is going to be a pain in the ass. And unless I go for a nuclear missile, I don't really see a quick way to get rid of it. That's problematic. Enemy fighter detected. Where? Yeah, this whole coast is one big accident waiting to happen. I could get some SAM sites in there, but <clears throat> so far I think they're just investing a lot in their navy, research-wise. Oh shit, they're sharing research! Okay. That's why they're getting pretty far ahead, pretty early on. What's my ally researching? Nothing. What are you researching? Let's phrase it in a, an open fashion to make sure that he doesn't get the idea that I'm telling him what to do. Ah, there we go. Mobile Sams. Meh. Not a big fan. They work. Hypersonic missiles. Oh, shit. And he's using laser space weapons. Does he already have satellites, then? He could. He could already have satellites. I just haven't seen any. Alright, let's get this researched as the next tech. Airbase ready in 8. Thermonuclears in 3. So far I'm down a little bit. But I haven't really lost that much. Oh, he also has mobile vehicles and SSBNs. Okay. See, an SSBN would be a perfect way to get rid of that thing real quick. But it takes a lot of research. That's 30 minutes out. Plus, you then need time to build an SSBN. And that depends on how high your warhead production efficiency is. We're being slowed down by Equilix, who's still on one time speed. Is he plotting something maybe? Can I see that aircraft carrier group again? If it's still there? That's important information. Where is the carrier? It's not where I last saw it. Nor is that one. So where did you guys go? Since I'm not micro... Oh, there we are. Since I'm not really micromanaging anything, I could just scout out for these guys. That's Harico's group. So the other group came in from somewhere here. In what's normally known as Pacific. But with four corners, it's Pacific plus a bit of East Asia. Ah, there's the other group. Okay. Oh, crap. I Research ran out of fuel. Complete. Don't hit me. Thermonuclear bombs are ready. Perfect. 2 minute 20 to get one of those things built. That's fairly expensive. But... If I can get it killed, it will allow me a pretty quick way to get rid of their GDP. Especially if I bomb Moscow again. And various other cities that I have reached to. Okay. Let's just get another airbase sorted. 
Yeah, where are you coming from? Where the hell were you going? Those air patrols have gotten really long. At least they're leaving. But the question is, where are they going? Where would they be going? Why are we having an air war? At least these aircraft of theirs don't have advanced air to air weaponry yet. Jesus, that just cost me all my fighters. That was painful. Yeah, I'm not going to deploy that just yet. The hell you are. That's mine. I first want to deploy some more SAMs. Oh, the Navy's back. Hmm. That's problematic, because if the Navy is projecting a lot of power in here, there is a likelihood that I'll lose the territory, or control of said territory. Hmm. Especially with those long-range cruise missiles that these guys are undoubtedly sporting. That's the problem that I see here. At least now it's destroyers. Once they put a cruiser in this area, I am pretty much toast. If I want to come back from this, I'll probably have to start wiping out a lot of GDP to make sure that they lose out on research. That might work. Alright, I'm going to cut this first episode here. Uh, next part is going to be the continuation of this multiplayer game up tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy what you're seeing so far. Uh, I find this to be far more interesting than actually playing against a bot for the umpteenth time. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, unfortunately, I cannot take your comments into advisement in this game because I, it'll already be done by the time that you're watching the video. But hey-ho, um, maybe I can take it into account for the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon for part two.